Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Senator Dinneman. Thank you all for coming out here today. You know, uh, when Joe Sestak goes to the Senate, uh, just like when he was in the Navy, every admiral leaves a good Navy doctor to go with him. So I'm going to be with him right there in Congress. <laughs> Look, you guys know my story. I served in Iraq with the Marines as one of the battalion surgeons for one of the first units to cross the line. I've also fought on the front lines of this health care crisis as a primary care doctor in emergency rooms, clinics, hospitals. I've seen the plight of the uninsured. I know how inefficient this health care system is. And now I'm ready to fight for you as your next congressman here in the 6th Congressional District. There are big issues at stake here, big questions, big directions that Brian was mentioned. These issues ra range from shipping jobs overseas. Do we want to give corporations tax breaks to ship jobs overseas? Do we want them here at home? Do we want to preserve Social Security or do we want to privatize it? We want to preserve Social Security. Do we want to bail out Wall Street and then not reform any of those reckless practices? These are some of the big issues that are at stake here today. But you know, these guys, uh, Jim Gerlach and his cronies in Washington on the other side, they say they want to take this country back. I disagree. I want to take this country forward. Okay, guys? I'm going to take this country forward, but I need your help. I need every single one of you, eight days. We have eight days to turn these things around. Phone bank, canvas, knock on doors. Tell 10 of your friends, you know, normal people who may not be here today, okay? People who aren't engaged, tell them there are big choices, big decisions coming up eight days from now, and we will determine the, the direction of this country. You know, my dad came to this country in the early 60s. He didn't have much money, but he worked hard. He played by the rules, and he made something of himself because he believed in the American dream. And he knew that Americans are, should be judged on their merits and their talents and their abilities and how hard they work, not on the color of their skin, not on the size of their pocketbook, not on their last names, but on how hard they work and what their merits were. That's what this election is about, how hard we all work in these next eight days, what the merits of our candidacies are. These guys down in Washington, Jim Gerlach and these guys have stopped listening. If they stop listening, they're out of touch with our community, but I have one simple message for you all. If you are frustrated with these guys down in Washington, if you are sick and tired of these same old political games, and if you want to change the way Washington works, we have to start changing who we send down there. Thank you guys, thank you so much. And now a woman who needs no introduction, your current and future state representative, Barb Malcovane Smith. <laughs> every one of you for being here today. We have nine days to go, and we have a lot of work to do between now and Tuesday. We need to make sure that every person who is registered to vote gets to the polls. This is a critical, critical vote, because this will determine the future of our state and our Congress and our nation. Please share with every person you know that it is in their hands to decide what that future will be. Will it be for the rich who keep getting richer? No. no. Will it be for the people who are the workers day in and day out? Yeah. That are the people who need health care insurance. Yes. I have yeah. friends that have lost their jobs recently and they have no health care insurance. They're desperate to take anything, any kind of job that will come with insurance. And that is one of the reasons that I've been fighting in the State House to try to change health care at our level. I was a co-sponsor of HB 1660, and it was about single-payer health care. We have reintroduced that bill two terms, and when I get back to Harrisburg this time, I will reintroduce it again. I want to ask uh, how many people here today have helped go knock on a door or made a phone call for the candidate of your choice? Let me see those hands. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing what you did. Because I started my campaign 84 days out from D-Day, E-Day really. And it's been a tough grind because I had closed down everything. I had zero money and we yeah. rose it from the ashes, and we are doing so well. We've got people out calling, knocking. I'm out every single day. I've lost 25 pounds. <laughs> but my, I will tell you that um, I am so excited. I am so thrilled 
and the energy is starting to build every single day when I wake up. I can't wait to get back out on doors. Every day I have one person who yells at me, but most of the people are positive. And the other day I was so thrilled because someone opened their door and said, if you are a Republican, I'm not voting for you. I said, good news, I'm a Democrat. And the reason I'm going on and on is because I was told that Joe's on his way and now you are stuck with me. But I'm going to tell you just a few more things about myself and I'm sorry to just be going on. But I want to tell you, unless, unless Andy has something else to say, how about if I get these other... Ooh, oh, we're going to have everybody talk. I was told I was the last one to talk. That's right. Okay. Well, let me, let me just, let me tell you something about myself. Oh, wrap it up. Oh, good. Joe is here. Is he here? Good. Oh, we're having a student introduce him.